Netflix's action-adventure mystery teen drama follows John B. and his Pope friend group as they live in the Outer Banks. The TV show begins with John B. managing his father's disappearance and striving to avoid a foster home placement. This leads to him and the other Pogues continuing the quest for gold from the royal merchant, which Big John started when he vanished. After their first trip in Outer Banks Season 1, the Pogues keep running across treasure hunting and perilous circumstances all through the show. Many people thus perish around them. Still, the death of a significant or supporting character is usually a fake-out. Although at first the Back from the Dead cliché was interesting, after four seasons it has grown boring. After Big John's definitive death at the end of Outer Banks Season 3, I assumed, and hoped, the teen drama would retain its fake-out deaths in the past, but someone emerges from the grave in Season 4 nonetheless. Outer Banks Season 4 continues the death-stakes problem of the show. At the end of Outer Banks Season 4, Episode 3, Leitner abducts Cleo and brings her aboard a ship where she encounters Terrence. In Season 2, Episode 3, Terrence made his last appearance, hinting that he died in a police gunfight. Many people came to the conclusion that Terrence had died and vanished, never to be seen again. Instead, Terrence makes an appearance in Outer Banks Season 4, where his survival serves as the unexpected cliffhanger for Episode 3. Terrence dies for real, though, when Leitner fires him in the following episode. Terrence's arrival in Outer Banks Season 4 follows the trend of the show resurrecting the dead. First, many believed Ward killed Big John until it turned out he had survived. Eventually, John B. returned to see his father, only for Big John to pass away at the end of Season 3. Ward also staged his death in a boat explosion in Season 2. At the end of Episode 9, Ward came from the dead. However, in the Outer Banks Season 3 finale, Sarah and Rafe's father passed away permanently. Thus. Netflix's teen drama staged the deaths of three of its characters as a means of resurrecting them. Two fake-out fatalities are more than enough for any TV drama. Outer Banks apparently can't let go of this cliché that should only be used once, taking their total up to three in Season 4. Outer Banks cannot stop killing off all of the parental figures for the Pogues. Most of the Pogues' parents in Netflix's series are sadly either dead, terrible, or gone. Pope is the only character in the Outer Banks who possesses excellent and modern parenting skills. Kiera's parents sent her to a troubled teen's camp against her will. As the Outer Banks Season 4, Part 1 finale shows, JJ's abusive father isn't his biological father and his birth father is assumuously. Cleo's only father figure is Terrence. John B.'s father died twice, and his mother's whereabouts are unknown. Particularly with regard to their families, the writers of the Outer Banks enjoy giving their characters as much trauma as feasible. Like Luke, some of his parents are still alive, but they could very well pass away in the upcoming episodes. At last, it must stop since it has gotten to this point. Outer Banks cannot continue to murder the adult characters, particularly in light of fake-out deaths, but none of the Pogues should die.